All right, saints, we are certainly grateful always uh, for the words coming from our ministering brethren. Uh, just like to remind you again that this is our 29th International Women's Convocation. It's also our 27th National Men's Convocation, in addition to being uh, one of the services uh, for our uh, services that carry us over into 2016 from 2015. Uh, we've come to the most important part of our worship, and that is the hearing of the Word of God. Uh, we need everybody now to pay strict attention uh, to the message and the things that will be said, and uh, don't let it slip after you hear it. Is that right? Yeah. All right. I'm uh, going to present on to you our leader, teacher, and guide, messenger of the one and only true God, preacher of holiness, true holiness, Pastor Gino Janice. <clears throat> Greetings, brothers and sisters. We bear witness there is no God but one. There is no God with him. There is no God before him. There is no God besides him. He is God alone. He alone is the true teacher and sender <clears throat> of all holy prophets and of all holy apostles. We thank him for the way of holiness, which is the best way, and it's a perfect way. God's way is holiness for all members of the human family. Amen. We're glad for all the ministers that are here and them that are absent, you that are watching and you that are listening. We thank God finally for bringing us over to a new year. You know, we, eight souls went down in the name of Jesus Christ, and I was thinking that it was last night, but it was really early this morning. So we start off 2016 with eight going down in water, and we're still fishing. You know, we're going to keep fishing until... The Lord come for us. That's right. We're laboring to see the Lord. Mm -hmm. And there's only one way I want to see him. Mm -hmm. In peace. Amen. You hear folks say, I'd be glad to see the Lord. Don't rush it. Everybody going to do that. Yes, Bible says every eye shall see him. Yes, but everyone is not going to want to see him. If I'm on my way to hell, I don't, I don't want to see Jesus. Would you? No way. When the Lord come, I want him to find me Fine. so doing. That's it. Doing exactly that which pleases him. That's it. So we are grateful. And I want to say uh, this year, as always, we have a lot of work ahead of us. <clears throat> not just <clears throat> not just here in America, mm -hmm. but abroad. Last year, a lot of work was accomplished. A whole lot. Whole lot. Every stop we have made, countless of souls went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. And so many constantly being added daily. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a beautiful thing when you can not just read the scriptures. But you can witness the scriptures being fulfilled. Amen. God added daily. daily mm. Such as should be said. And that's what's happening to the truth of God. He continued to add daily. Mm -hmm. And one of the most beautiful things I see is the constant flow of young people. Amen. Young men, young women. Constantly coming in by the hundreds everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, it is not in people to come to something like this. Mm -hmm. God knows it's not in you. No. And the Lord preached that unless he draw you. Mm -hmm. Why? He knew you wouldn't come. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. He knew none of you in here would come. 
So he said, unless I draw you. Draw you. That's why you're here now. God drew you here. Yeah. Many of you watching now, mad, cussing, and upset. Oh, I get hundreds of letters from people using all type of profanity. Hmm. Words I never even heard of. And then they end their letter, your brother in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> My greatest fight come from those that say they're Christians. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Amen. My greatest confrontation is from those that say they're religious. Yeah. Love Jesus. <laughs> One woman preacher uh, wrote me. She said, I don't believe what you preach about women preachers. I know what God done for me. <laughs> She said, but even I want to see you get that new campus. Here's a check. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Give us more elbow room to snatch her out the pulpit. That's right. I want to thank all of our brothers and sisters that continue to give towards the work of God. We was hoping that we would have made settlement on our new campus in December. But the diocese are very ritualistic. <coughs> I'm used to buying property, put her offer in, then the seller's counter offer. We agree, set up a date for settlement, sign my name, and let's move on. Right. I'm not used to buying churches, and the seller or the owner of the church got to have rituals to unlock a door. <laughs> Got to have rituals to lock the door. Got to have rituals to move a candle. <laughs> Got to have a ceremony to remove windows. Got to have ceremonies to move st statues. And throw in water on altars oh, just Lord. so we can mop it up. Mm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not used to that type of carrying on. <laughs> so, you know, they drag things out. So... God willing, we hope that we can get this thing all done before the spring. Because I would love to have our international convocation there and to be able to dedicate the same time. Right. So you pray along with us. A brother came to me last night and uh, he said he got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, so many hundreds of folks, when they talk to me, a lot of time I don't even recognize their face. But he said, I, I got baptized, I heard the word of God. He said, I turned my thousand dollars in last night. Yeah. He said, when you open up, I'm going to be right there. Wonderful. Amen. The whole world ought to be there. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we are grateful, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Our objective. It's simply to tell you the truth. That's it. That's what we're over the air for. Mm -hmm. That's why stations censor us. <laughs> there are stations that see our telecast reaching out to us. Mm -hmm. Station in Chicago. Got a letter from a NOI former follower. NOI is Nation of Islam. Mm -hmm. Hey Amen. I get many letters from them, but... This letter I find interesting. God willing, we'll try to share it with you. He was a Muslim for 30 years. Mm. He said, 30 years I was in the nation. He said, but in the year 2007, I first heard you here in Chicago. Mm. He said, I came out the nation. Mm. He said, when I came out, I went wandering from church to church, church to church, and I was looking for what you were preaching. Here in Chicago, and couldn't find it. <laughs> he said, I couldn't find it. He said, would you please come to Chi-Town? <laughs> come to Chi-Town and set up a church. I can't count the amount of letters we get asking us to set up churches. Set up churches, not just through America, but throughout the foreign countries. We're not Rockefeller. No. Amen. But uh, through the grace of God, 
With the help of God, we're putting a dent in the earth. That's it. And we're doing it by the grace of Almighty God. That's right. All right, we're glad for all of you. My viewers, continue to write. I want to thank all of you for your letters that have came in through 2015, all the wonderful letters and all the wonderful, disgusting letters. <laughs> I want to encourage all my fighters and enemies, please, <laughs> Get some more ink, email, start flooding us again. Flooding. Cuss us out. I believe it's all good. That's I'm it. glad to know that the word of God has made you angry, upset. I'm thankful for the women preachers that have surrendered your licenses. Amen. They are surrendering their licenses all throughout Jamaica. Amen. Women preachers coming out the churches, tearing up their credentials. Going down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Amen. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Souls came out of the PAW. Mm. They're coming out of these organizations that's worth nothing. Amen. Coming out the PAW, not just in Minnesota, mm. Minnesota. But in other parts of America and the world, oh, yeah. coming out of PAW, UPC, and all of this stuff that don't believe the Bible. That's right. You that are here, you that are watching and listening, do you believe the Bible? That's it. That's Somebody it. say, I read the whole Bible. What do I hear? Hmm. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? I hear people brag how they read the Bible four and five times. But do you understand Genesis 1-1? Mm -hmm. Somebody's on the third go-round now reading the Bible. That's Indeed. good. That's but good. do you understand Genesis 1-1? Right. Amen. Do you understand how many heavens did God make in the beginning? Mm. You that read Genesis 1-1. One, one. That's right. Huh? How many heavens did God make? In the beginning, mm -hmm. my reader. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1. Yeah, what did he say? In the beginning. In the beginning. God. God. Created the heaven. He didn't make heavens in the beginning. <laughs> Not in the beginning. That's what I killed Williams with years ago. Yes, you did. Amen. Amen. He rose up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God, but I had something to put his heels down to his heels. Been down ever since. That's right. But he rose up. He said, I take the word of God and stop your mouth. That's right. He told me that. Right. Hey Amen. I, I was meeting in the basement then. I was right. just getting started in the cellar. And he was, we was in my mother and father's house. And he did then like he do now. You know, he always shaking his finger. I said, listen. <laughs> I said, what I had, I had sense enough to know what I had then, God gave it to me. That's he right. said, but I'm right up on your hill. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I said, Williams, you couldn't even answer me out of Genesis 1 1. He said, try me. That's right. I said, all right, how many heavens did God made in the beginning? Amen. He started quoting everything but Genesis. He said, the Bible says the heavens and the heavens of heavens cannot contain them. That's more the house that I build. So he made three. That's I right. said, you liar. He made one. Right. <laughs> yes, you did. I said, you're a liar. He made one. That's he right. said, uh-huh. I got you. I'm approved. I said, all right. He got his Bible. <laughs> and you can see the air went out of it. He said, in the beginning, God created the he said, no, you got this one. I said, that's right, it's given to me. <laughs> Reading the Bible is good. It's good. Understanding the what Bible is better. Far better. Now I want everybody to listen because mm -hmm. everyone that wants to be saved is at war. Mm -hmm. Am I right, I said? Oh, yeah. You, me, everybody around the world that want to be right with God is having, having war. That's right. Now the question is, are you prepared for battle? Mm. 
What type of protection are you using? Mm -hmm. And what are you fighting with? And who are you fighting for? That's right. What are you fighting against? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. That's right. Do you know your enemy? Mm. Do you know how many ways he attacked you? Oh, yeah. Now the church is boot camp. Oh, yeah. I want you to hear me well. Mm -hmm. You know, when you join the military, you just don't walk into a recruiting office and then they ship you overseas. No, no. You got to be trained. trained. Got to be trained how to hold a gun, how to salute, how to follow orders, when to get up, what kind of exercise, that, all type of training, you know. That's right. To prepare you for battle. That's right. To get everybody on one accord to think alike. Amen. Well, the word of God come to teach you how to think like God. That's right. Tell the scripture says, let this mind be in you. Mm -hmm. That's all so in Christ Jesus. Amen. Now, the church is to train you. That's it. I want you to hear me well. That's right. Viewers, listeners, backsliders, mm -hmm. the church supposed to train us how to be the type of soldier, soldier. that God wants us to be. That's right. Now the Bible teaches us to endure hardness as a good soldier. Good soldier. But there's a particular type of soldier that God want to make out of you and that God want to make out of I, out of us. That's right. You just don't want to come to church carrying the Bible. No. The Bible is your gun. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's right. Yes, it is. That's right. The Bible is your weapon. Oh, yeah. And it's not carnal. No. But it's mighty through God. Mighty. But you got to know how to use it. That's right. You know, sometimes that some guns naturally got such a kick. And if you don't know how to use it, you'll hurt yourself. Yes, you will. You got to respect the power that it has. That's right. You that are here, mm -hmm. you got the weapon there. Mm -hmm. But you got to be able to use it. That's right. And the first one that you must use this weapon on <laughs> is yourself. That's right. Hmm? That's right. And being that many of you don't want to use it on yourself, <laughs> then I'll shoot you. <laughs> Amen. 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 You know, a lot of us don't like to use the word of God on ourselves, but we love to open fire on everybody else. That's right. Eh? That's right. I come along by God's permission with the book of scriptures, mm -hmm. not with the carnal weapon. No, no. But the purpose of the weapon of God is for our destruction. That's right. What if God says the weapon of our warfare? Not carnal. Or not carnal. Not, but mighty. Now, let's begin there, and mm -hmm. then we'll go to the sixth chapter mm -hmm. of the book of Ephesians. Follow me and get me. Now, in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, we'll start at verse 3. All right. For though we walk in the flesh. Though we walk in the flesh. We do not war after the we flesh. We don't war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That's why when you follow God, you don't own guns. That's right. Get me, get me now. That's right. God, people have no business with guns. No, no, no. 45, 38, German Luger. Sawed off shotgun and That's all right. that stuff. No, 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 no. No. The Holy Ghost is talking here. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. When you got all that stuff, you got a carnal weapon. That's right. Now, if you got a gun that you're going hunting with, make sure you're going hunting. <laughs> I don't mean hunting people either. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Not carnal, but what? But mighty through God. Through who? Through God. And what does God's weapon do to you? To the pulling down of strongholds. I want to take my time and soak you. 
What does this weapon do to us? Pulling down of strongholds. Everybody watching and listening, mm. is there something that got a tight grip on you? That's right. That's right. Pulling down. If there's anything that got a Hallelujah. tight grip on you. Amen. Put the word of God on it. That's right. That's right. And when the word of God get a hold of it, mm. what would it do? Pulling down. It'll pull down. Of strongholds. Hallelujah to God. That's right. Hallelujah. Everything about self mm -hmm. needs to be pulled down. That's right. All of them. That's right. That's it. Starting with here. Oh, yeah. That's why the Bible said, let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. You want to get a person to change? Mm -hmm. Change the way they think. That's right. Anybody can go to church, spend the night in church. Huh. But if that mind don't change, yeah. ain't no changing in them. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Mighty through what? Mighty through God. Who's going to do it? Through God. You can't do it on your own. No. Just can't stop smoking on your own. No way. Can't stop that drinking on your own. Mm -hmm. Can't stop that partying and going to the club and throwing your money away like a fool <laughs> on <laughs> your own. No, no. Through God. Through God, these things must be done. That's right. So everyone that tried to do it on their own no. fell. Oh, yeah. That's you fell. That's right. That's right. You can go to the AA and sit in the circle and call your name. And my name is Jeff. My name is Bill. My name is Harvey Lee Jack. And my <laughs> name is Beulah. <laughs> yeah? Hallelujah. That's all well and good, but it ain't good enough. No, no. After you voice your name and tell them how long you've been sober, mm -hmm. you need God, God to get on the inside. That's it. And pull something down. That's right. That's right. Why, there's a strong hold. That's right. That's Glory right. To, hallelujah. Glory to God. For the weapons of our there's warfare. There's a strong hold there. Mm -hmm. Because oh. you sit in a circle and talk about it, that's, that's good. That's good. But there's a strong hold. Strong hold. Something got a hold of your heart. Yeah. Your heart is connected to the liquor. That's why there's an emotional tie. Wonderful, wonderful. That's right. Strongholds. Your mind is connected to the bar. Go ahead. That's why you think about it. That's right. You miss it when you don't see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't have no liquor in the house, you'll go drink some cologne. Yes, you will. Yeah, many of you laughing because you never heard of that before. Yeah. There's some that got such an addiction to alcohol, if they can't find no liquor, they drink perfume, yeah. they drink rubbing alcohol, yeah. and drink cologne. That's right. Why? There's something got a hold of them, that, and they crave it. That's it. Got to get that taste. That's it. That's right. Strongholds. Like a person that wants to be high. Amen. And can't find his product. Yeah. I've heard of cases where they took shoe polish. Mm -hmm. Put it on bread. My Lord. And ate it. Yes, sir. That's mm. the truth. Took spray paint. Yeah. Took glue. Amen. Sniff it. Yeah. Doing something. Why? Mm. There's something in them that needs to be pulled, pulled down. down. It got a strong oh, hold oh. on them. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Take off. Amen. Look at yourself now. Go ahead, man. Is there something in you that needs to be pulled down? Pulled down. Talk back to me. Oh, yes. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Look at the many things. Many, many things. If it's just one thing, you're good. Yes, you are. But in most time, it's going to be more than one. Oh, yeah. Amen. You've got to release a weapon on yourself. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's right. Yes, you do. That's right. Go ahead, man. I gotta release God's weapon. Yeah. On self. That's right. That's right. Let that bomb just drop down. Drop. Mm -hmm. It is written that my doctrine mm -hmm. shall distill from heaven mm -hmm. as the dew right. and as the rain upon the tender earth. That's right. Hmm. 
Strongholds. Strongholds. Now you that are watching, mm -hmm. this scripture is definitely for you. Oh yeah. Because you know what got a hold of you? Hmm. Your false church. That's right. Strong got a stronghold. Strong Am I right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, got yeah. a stronghold. Amen. How many letters that I get people writing me? Mm -hmm. I, I watch you before I go to church. <laughs> <laughs> so many say the same thing. Mm -hmm. I watch the telecast before I go to church. Mm -hmm. Watch holiness and then go to a Baptist church. That's right. That's something. That's something. Watch holiness and then go to the Catholic church. That's right. Watch holiness, then go to that so-called apostolic church or, mm -hmm. or Pentecost or non-denominational. Mm -hmm. And yet they know this is true. Amen. But the devil got a strong hold. Oh, yeah. Now, one method the devil has mm -hmm. to reinforce his hold mm -hmm. is giving you a position in your religion. That's right. That's right. Give you a title. Give you a title. Never see you on your way out to save your soul. Right then, he makes you a deacon. That's right. Get a stronger hold. Stronger. Stronger. Or give you an unofficial office. Mm -hmm. Junior pastor. Yeah. That's like a three dollar bill, you know. <laughs> That's right. Make you a deaconess. That's right. Something to reinforce his will. His, mm -hmm. Do you hear what the word of God say here? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. That second wife, that's a stronghold on you. Strongholds. That second husband, stronghold. Oh, yeah. Homosexuality, oh, yeah. stronghold. Stronghold. Go into the club and look at the prostitute come down the pole. Yeah. Stronghold. That's right. Strong. They got, got your whole, got a hold of you so strong, you will drive from church right to the club. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Stronghold. What did the Apostle Paul say? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Are you, are, you, are you at war? At war. Are you fighting? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Don't look at nobody. Look at yourself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't look at nobody. Look mm -hmm. at yourself. Amen. What are you fighting with within yourself? Yeah. What do you need God to pull, pull down, down in you? That's right. Go ahead, brother. What Go ahead. is in us that we need God to pull down? That's right. You can't shout over it. No, Shouting ain't gonna pull it down. No, no. Shouting to just shake it around. <laughs> That's it. That's right. <laughs> eh? That's right. That's all shouting do. Just shake it around. around. And just jiggle around in you. Amen. But it's still there. That's right. The Holy Ghost says what? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, not carnal. but mighty through God. To mighty through God to the pulling down of the strongholds. Pulling down of strongholds. Now, viewers, mm -hmm. viewers, the devil don't want you mm -hmm. to watch this program. No. Uh-uh. No, no. Your pastor don't want you to watch it. That's right. And yet he watch it. That's right. The fear... That false prophets have mm -hmm. is that your eyes will come open. Yeah. And the devil wants you to hate this program. That's what the devil makes you pay attention more to how I sound more than what I said. That's right. That's yeah, right. when you never make you focus on how I sound, right? Then you say, that man ain't got no love. He's <laughs> mean and he don't care about nobody. <laughs> that's the devil, don't. That's, that's the, the devil. devil. That's right. he, he wants you to pay attention on how I sound. Right. But you better pay attention to what we're saying. That's it. Eh? That's right. Or it's take God in your ears. It doesn't matter if it sounds so mean and make you cuss. <laughs> Go back and rewind it and listen at what I said. That's right. You know how many hundreds of people went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ who finally decided to listen at what we were saying? That's it. That's it. Before then, they fought it. Yeah. Spoke against it. Mm -hmm. Turned the television off and on. Mm -hmm. Off and on. Mm -hmm.
thank God until they conclude, I'm going to watch what you say. Right. I remember a woman wrote me and told me, you was the most hateful man I ever saw on television. <laughs> she said, well, at least I thought so. <laughs> Amen. She said, but didn't every week I turn the television on? Mm -hmm. And when I heard your voice, it sickened me. I turned it off. <laughs> she said, until one day mm -hmm. I built up the nerve to listen, listen to the whole program. Amen. She said, I ain't been right since. <laughs> Hallelujah. She said, I ain't been right since. Hallelujah. She said, so much in my life have changed. Wonderful. Because I finally took the time out mm. to listen. That's, That's listen. all you need to do, hard head, stubborn, high-minded, hell-bound. That's right. All you need to do Let's is listen. to listen. That's it. And see that what we're telling you is from the same book that you got at home. That's right. Huh? That's right. Oh, glory to God. That's right. That same Bible same one. that your false prophet have on his podium same one. we're coming from the same thing. That's it. And what did he say there? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Glory to God. We're over the air with a powerful weapon. Oh, yeah. It's a powerful weapon. Oh, yes. And mighty, it, mighty. It hits government. That's right. This weapon, nobody's off limits. That's right. Thank God we target the government the target. of the world. That's right. Of every country. Amen. Everything is a target from God's eternal word. That's right. The weapons of our warfare is what? Are not carnal. Not carnal. But mighty. It's what? Mighty. We got a strong weapon. Oh, yes. Hallelujah to God. Mighty through God. Mighty. Mighty. Glory to God through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. What got you? Mm -hmm. What got you today? What got you this morning, this afternoon, and tonight? What got you in bondage that you can't walk with God? That's right. That's right. What is it that got you coming every week here in the program and still won't repent? Mm -hmm. Still won't be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Amen. Still won't receive the Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. There's something that got a tight grip on tight you. Grip. And uh, for some of you, it's a woman. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, the reason why you won't get baptized because you know you're going to have to give her up. That's right. Huh? That's right. And then for some of you, Go it's ahead. a man. Go ahead. The reason why you won't get baptized and seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. because you know he's going to have to move out your house. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. The weapons of our warfare, of our warfare are not carnal. Are not carnal. But mighty. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is mighty. Mighty. Hallelujah. It's mighty. Mighty through God. Hallelujah. God got a weapon. Hallelujah. 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 It's not natural. Go ahead. Mighty through God. It's not earthly. No, no. Not carnal. God Almighty coming down to reach down Hallelujah. to your heart. Hallelujah. 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 Thanks God to pull down that kernel mind. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 God word reach down in your heart. That's right. Take the love out of it that you got for Satan. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lock the nicotine taste. That's right. The lust that you have for cigarettes. Yeah. God start pulling it down. That's right. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You see, you got to have a strong weapon yeah. that's mighty through God. Through God. That's right. It has to be done through God. That's right. By God. From God. That's right. Through God. You that's in these weak churches, you can never be saved. No, no. You can never be saved because you got to have a message to pull down the pull stronghold. Down. That's right. Eh? That's right. Got to have a message that's constantly pulling down. Yeah. The stronghold. Stronghold. Do you hear what it says? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God. Amen. 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 Look Amen. at what you've been struggling with yeah. from 2015 mm -hmm. that then crept over to 2016. That's right. Ask yourself, how tight is the grip? That's right. Hallelujah. How tight is it? That's right. How long, How long has the grip been on you? Amen. Are you free? Mm. Are you free in God like you want to be? That's right. Go Were ahead. you more free when you was a sinner? Go ahead. Than you are now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Were you more loyal when you was a sinner? Yeah. Than you are now. Amen. Whatever got a tight grip on you. Yeah. How bad 
Man, is it affecting your spiritual walk? That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Got your held so tight. Yes, when you come to church, yes. you're not there when you're there. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You got her on your mind. Yeah. You got him on your mind. That's right. You got money on your mind. Yes. You got your clothes on your mind. Amen. Stronghold. Got a stronghold. Stronghold. Got your health so strong yeah. until when you hear the word of God, yeah. you have ears, but, but you don't hear. That's right. Your ears is dull of hearing. That's right. God is talking, but you don't hear. Don't hear. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 When you got a stronghold on you, you can't tarry like you should. Go ahead, man. You can't seek the Holy Ghost Go ahead. like you should. Go ahead. Stronghold. If I'm telling you for the Holy Ghost, Hallelujah. I need that weapon. Go ahead. Head out. Go ahead. What's distracting me? That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. What did the Holy Ghost say? For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Not a carnal. Yeah. Are not carnal. It's not carnal. But mighty. It's mighty who? Through God. Through God. To the pulling, to down, the pulling down of strongholds. Strong. Strong. That's wonderful teaching, brother. Don't tell me the devil is weak. That's right. That's right. Stronghold. Stronghold. Hallelujah. That's something. Down there. Go ahead. Praying. For the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Feel like you can't make no headway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Go ahead, man. Everything coming to mind. That's right. Go ahead, Pastor. Everybody coming to mind. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Good teaching, brother. Strong. Got strong a strong hold on you. Oh, yeah. Amen. They got to put the weapon on. That's right. Put the weapon on that woman that's in your mind. Go ahead. Put the weapon on the man that's in your heart. That's right. Put the weapon on your love for money. That's right. Hey, God, pull it down. Hallelujah. Take it out. Go ahead. Get rid of it. Go ahead. Push it out. Pull it down. Pull it down. Hallelujah. Pull it down in strongholds. Hallelujah. When that stuff begin to move. Yes. You can talk like David. That's right. I was glad. I was glad, I said. When they said unto me, let us go. Hallelujah. Let us go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I was glad. Hallelujah to God. The weapon, the weapon of our warfare is not turning. It got to put God. Hallelujah. Pull it down. Pull it down. Hallelujah. God, pull it down. Hallelujah. You can preach better. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead. You can teach that. Hallelujah. You can pray that. Go ahead. You can pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are not carnal, not carnal, but mighty through God. Mighty through God. Hallelujah. Mighty, mighty through God. Through God. To the pulling down. He pulls it down. Of strongholds. Pull down that carnal mind. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take God to pull it down. Hallelujah. You can't give up that woman on your own. Hallelujah. Through God. God got to pull it down. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can't get up them drugs. Go ahead. 
God step in. Go ahead. Pulls it down. Pull it down. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the weapons of our warfare. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Start pulling it down. Go ahead. Man. Hallelujah. That's why. Yes, Hallelujah. That's why some of you don't have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That's why. Something's got your grip. That's right. Stronghold. That's your tight. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The weapon. Hallelujah. For the weapons of our warfare. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. Strongholds. And when something got a hold of you strong, yeah. what else does it bring? Casting down imaginations. Whatever got you, give your vain thoughts. That's right. Go ahead, man. Mind mess. Go ahead, go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Preach it, brother. So this weapon got to be turned on. Preach it, brother. Hallelujah. Pull down what's in the heart. That's right. Straighten out the way you say that casting down imagination. Get rid of your imagination. That's right. The Holy Ghost think of no evil. Go ahead. You won't imagine no ill. Go ahead, Pastor. About your brother. Go ahead, man. And about your sister. Go ahead. Cast Holy Ghost will pull it down. That's right. Bring it into captivity. Go ahead. And it's Go ahead. 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 Casting down imaginations. Imaginations. Cast it down. Hallelujah. Bring it down, brother. Destroy it. Go ahead. He's going to destroy it, I said. Casting down imaginations. Every imagination. And every high thing. Look at what you imagine. Imaginations. Preach it. Look at the vain imagination. Preach it, man. Preach it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what the Holy Ghost brought tonight. Amen. And Hallelujah. it's all right. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Casting down. Casting down imagination. Casting down. Go ahead. Every. Go ahead. Every imagination. Every imagination. You cast it down. Ca that's it. Casting down imaginations. Ask yourself. Go ahead, man. Are your thoughts right? Go ahead, man. About one another? Go ahead. Hallelujah. Or do you got hypocritical imagination? Hallelujah. Because the word said the Holy Ghost thinketh. No evil. No evil. No evil. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. When you put this weapon yeah. on you, that's it. Look at what it does. Casting down imagination. Cast down. That's right. Casting down imagination. Until I don't imagine nothing no more. That's right. That's not like God. That's right. Cast down. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Every imagination. Casting down imaginations. What else? And every high thing. What else? And every high thing. What else? That exalteth itself against the knowledge of every God. Every what? Every high thing. Do you hear this? Every high thing. Every high thing. Every high thing. Every high thing. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Every high thing. Every high thing. Every, Hallelujah. Every high thing. Go ahead, man. You better hear what I'm telling you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of us are high-minded. Uh, that's right. Think we're better than somebody else. That's right. Many of you that are watching this program, you're in a high-minded religion. Amen. Thank no one right but you. Yeah. And thank in order to be saved, just be seated now. Let's be seated. Let's be seated, brothers. Let's stop talking. Let's stop talking. Amen. Let's stop talking. And let's get seated. That's right. Let's get seated. Amen. All right, let's go to work. Casting down imaginations. Casting down what? Imagination. Imagination. And every high thing. Look how high-minded some of us are. That's right. I mind it. Too high to repent. Yeah. Too high to humble yourself. Too, that's right. That's right. 
I always think you're better than somebody else. Yeah. I always think everybody looking at you. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. You better turn the weapon loose That's it. on the way you think. That's right. So it can cast out cast down. Um, every, every high thing. Every high thing. Every high thing. I don't care how much truth we have. Yeah. You better not get high minded in it. That's right. That's right. You better stay humble. Oh, yeah. And then let God bring you high. That's right. Did you hear what he said? And every high thing. Every high thing. That exalteth itself. Not that God exalted. They did what? Exalteth itself. You put yourself up there. Right. I Many of you preachers watching me now, you put yourself in the pulpit. That's, right. That's right. You the one declared God called you. That's right. You the one that made yourself a preacher. Amen. Your wife wanted you to be a preacher and you went on and made yourself one. That's right. Your mama wanted to be a, wanted a preacher in the family, you made yourself one. Amen. Exalteth itself. Exalted yourself. That's right. What? Against the knowledge of God. I go to show you God didn't put you up there because your knowledge is contrary. <laughs> That's right. It's a contrary knowledge. Against the knowledge of it's God. Against the knowledge of God. Against. Amen. Hallelujah. You get this? Casting down imaginations. Hallelujah. And every look, look, look at yourself now. Yeah. You that are watching, oh, look yeah. at yourself this morning. This afternoon, tonight, Hallelujah. Memphis, Memphis, Hallelujah. Alabama, yeah. Carolina, Florida, yeah. North and South Dakota, Amen. Las Vegas, Nevada, That's right. Utah, mm -hmm. Boston, Amen. New York, mm -hmm. Philadelphia, South America, Go ahead. Asia, Amen. Europe, Go ahead. India, Hallelujah. Go ahead. you that are watching around the world, what is it that have your soul so tight? Tight. Stronghold. Until you don't want to come and obey God. That's right. What is it? What, what is it? What is it that got you so tired? Of? Mm -hmm. What is it? What is it that you're so addicted to? That's right. What is it that you're so in love with you can't shake off? That's it. And run for your soul. That's right. Hallelujah to God. For the weapons of our warfare are not Blessed carnal. be the name of God. The weapon of our warfare are not carnal. But mighty through God. Mighty through God. To the pulling down of strongholds. To the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations. Casting down. Mm -hmm. To some of us, the devil give us all type of imaginations. Yeah. And what those imaginations does, mm -hmm. it brings negative feelings in you towards brothers and sisters. That's right. That's right. That's right. Then you start saying things about them that you don't know. Amen. And you start thinking things about them that is not true. That's true. And then the devil just have you violating scripture after scripture yeah. after scripture. When God say judge yourselves, you in such a mental mess. Mm. Now you're judging someone else other than yourself. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. So now you need this weapon yeah. to pull down all the essence of self. That's right. That's right. All right. But hold, hold that. Mm. Hold that. Mm. Hold that. And let's get the Old Testament. What God told the prophet to do mm. in the first chapter of Jeremiah. Jeremiah. That's it. Hallelujah. That's and right. First chapter book of Jeremiah. That's right. And you better begin at verse 5 quickly. Jeremiah chapter 1 and we're at verse 5. Be quick. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou came forth out of your mother's womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Then said I, ah, Lord I, God. Lord God, I can't speak for hope, I am a child of the Lord. Say, don't say you're a child, but thou shalt go to all I shall send thee. And whatsoever I and command thee, thou I shalt command speak. You will speak. Be not afraid of their faces. Do you hear be not afraid of their faces. Don't be afraid of their faces unless I confound thee before them. Then the Lord put forth his hand and, and touched touch my mouth. Now that's what God does to his preacher. That's it. That's what the preacher has got to tell you. He just got to tell you that's what right. the Lord said. That's right. So he can be on good terms with God. That's right. God put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord and said the unto Lord me, said Behold, unto me, but look, I have put my I words. Put my words in thy mouth. Do you hear? That's it. That's it. Now when God put his word in the mouth of the preacher, mm -hmm. he put a weapon in his mouth. That's right. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. In the mouth Go ahead. of the preacher. That's right. That's why God used mm -hmm. his mouth mm -hmm. 
and controlled his mouth That's right. and unleashed the weapon on the world. That's right. Yeah. Behold. Thank God that weapon came out the apostles so much until they, even they cried out in the apostles' time. Mm. We got to stop these men. That's right. We got to stop them. That's right. Or they turned the world upside, upside down. down. Oh, yeah. Amen. Man, the Lord our God unleashed that weapon out of Paul until it hit Asia. Oh, yeah. Demetrius and the other silversmiths that made silver shrines to wish up the goddess Diana. Mm -hmm. Thank God they all come together mm -hmm. talking about Paul. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Paul declared that uh, uh, God is not a gods. wish up with man hands. Right. As if he needeth anything. That's right. They said that not only uh, here in Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia. Yes. This Paul. This Paul. Do you know how big Asia is? <laughs> Amen. But they said almost, almost, almost all Asia. throughout all Asia, That's throughout right. the whole continent whole of Asia, continent. they said this Paul, this Paul had persuaded, persuaded and, and turned, turned away. away much people, much people, saying there be no God mm -hmm. made with hands. That's right. That's what I'm saying. That's right. Same thing. Same thing. You out there that call your preacher God and mm. got statues and idols and little naked statues of devils. <laughs> right. Amen. And say that's God. That's God good. is not made with hands. No, no. God is eternal in the heavens. Mm -hmm. All right, read quick. Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. And what? See. See. I have this day set thee over the nations. Now, now, you look at here. Mm -hmm. Look at the authority God gives his preaching. I have this day set, have thee, this over day the set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms. And when I put you over the kingdom, this is what this is your job. What you got to do? To root out. Hallelujah. Oh. Amen. Yes, sir. Right. Root it out. Now. Hallelujah. Let's focus on the language of the scripture. Mm -hmm. When a woman got a beautiful flower bed mm -hmm. and there's unwanted weeds coming in there. <laughs> Amen. She, she just don't clip the weeds. Oh, no. Because she don't want them to come back. That's right. So she got to do what? Root out. She got to pull them out of roots. Root out. Get them out. That's right. Huh? That's right. And that's the way that thing that got a grip on you got to come out. You got to get the root of it. Root, root now, out. That's why the Bible called the word an axe. That's right. It says the axe is laid at the roots. With that, it takes that weapon to go right to the root. Go ahead. The very source. That's it. Of the problem. That's right. You see, the root of the plant, mm -hmm. you may look at and see that beautiful rose. Yes, sir. But for the rose to be beautiful, mm -hmm. the root got to be nurtured. That's it. Wonderful, brother. So you take the word of God mm -hmm. and you got to go to the root. root, root. To that which you don't see. That's right. You have to go to the unseen part of it. That's right. And then attack it with the scripture. That's it. Why? It's hid. That's yeah. right. You got to go where it's hid and expose it. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Take so root out. That's the root of it. Root out. You want, we can give it up, Pastor? That's right. To root out. And, and to pull down. There it is again. There it is again. Is it? Amen. There it is again. Pull down. That lets you know God's purpose haven't changed from Old Testament to the to New. Use. That's right. Everything in you still, he wanted to be pulled down. That's right. Why? When you pull it down, he want to make a better people than what we are. That's it. That's it. Pull it down. Pull down. God make it preacher a gardener. Amen. This is husbandry practice. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. You root it out. Root it out. And you pull it down. And, and to destroy Amen. Destroy it. Destroy it. All the surroundings. Mm -hmm. Everything that caused it to come. That's it. Destroy it. And, and to throw down. Throw it down. Throw Get rid down. of it. That's it. And then once we clear off the land, what can we do? To to build. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Now we can be rebuilt. That's it. And, and to plant. Now you can start planting all over start again. Planting. But before you plant, you got to root up. Root out. Because those plants that my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. Rooted up. Now every false doctrine Hallelujah. and every lie that ever come out of hell Hallelujah. that's circulating around the world today in the form of religion yeah. must be rooted up. Rooted out. Huh? That's right. It must be. That's right. All right, let's go back to the book. Of right. Romans, if you will. Back in 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter Corinthians. 10 and at verse 4. All right. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but, what? but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, and casting down imaginations, what else? and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. Are you high-minded? Mm -hmm. Have you went to school so long and learned all this philosophy and theology? <laughs> 
Until now you don't exhaust yourself exalt against yourself. the knowledge of God. That's right. Are you that blind and deceiver of the devil? <laughs> Until now you think it's more than one God. Amen. Are you so wise mm. and yet so dumb? That's right. That's right. Look how wise God is. Mm -hmm. Until the God says this. The foolishness of God wiser than is men. wiser than man. Wiser than men. Foolishness of Look God. how wise God is. Foolishness. He says his foolishness. Be, because his foolishness, the foolishness of God. Of God is wiser than men. Listen at this. In First Corinthians chapter one and verse twenty-five. Get this. Because the foolishness of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. Amen. Amen. You got your degrees and all that stuff and believe that man evolved from ape and <laughs> That's the right. Big Bang Theory. You think a white man is a result of a laboratory? My Lord. And grafting and all of some big head scientist named Yakub did grafting and that's how white brothers came. My You're Lord. so wise until you're foolish. That's right. Huh? That's right. You think men start out as monkeys and then they got the chart in the school. Yes, they do. Monkey bent over, then all of a sudden straight up, then all of a sudden straight <laughs> up, then all of a sudden straight up. That's a man. That's right. Oh, what a fool. The big lie theory. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what it is. So wise until you deny God. Yeah. Amen. And I'm so foolish, I acknowledge God. That's right. What did he say? Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. The foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God. Oh, look at here. Hmm. Amen. The, look, look at God the way he talk. I love the way he brings things. And the weakness of God. And you know he's not weak. No. But he just want to show a man how incompetent man is. That's right. And how man can't compete with him. That's right. Huh? And the weakness of God. The weakness of God. Is stronger than men. If, listen. In other words, if there's anything about God that's weak. <laughs> anything. Anything. If there's anything about God that's weak or mm -hmm. frail. Mm -hmm. It's stronger than you. Stronger than men. <laughs> that's how great he is. That's right. The weakness of God is Stronger than men. Stronger than men. What else? But God has chosen the foolish things of the world. Do you see how he worked? Amen. Do you see how he worked? Verse 27. But do, God. Do you see how God worked? Mm -hmm. Human family. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world. What? To confound the wise. Do you fellas think you got to go to seminary school, theology school, Bible college, and that'll make you appreciate? No, it won't. No. It'll make you nothing but a student who don't know the Bible. That's right. Hey, you're looking at a man that never had a Bible course since he been born. That's right. I never had not one Bible course, not even a half of one. Amen. But you come on and bring your religion and put it down here. Yeah. And see if I don't blast it back to hell with the weapon of war. That's right. I take this strong weapon here. That's and right. And pull down the Baptist and pull, pull down. down the Catholic and oh, pull hey. down the Apostolic and pull down the Pentecostal and yeah. pull down the denominational. I pull, pull it, it down. down. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I pull, I pull it down That's with right. God's eternal word. For the weapons of our warfare. The weapons of our warfare. He chose the foolish things of this world. But God has chosen the foolish chose things of the world. The foolish things of the world. To confound the wise. You've got your little education. What do I care? Yeah. Yeah. A little education, you a PhD, you doctor <laughs> this and doctor that. Amen. And don't know how to perform surgery in the word of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. God have chosen the foolish things of this world. To confound the wise. To confound the wise. Look at what the Bible says about Peter. Mm -hmm. Ignorant, unlearned men, but they marvel because been with Jesus. Been with Jesus. Amen. Not been to college, been with Jesus. <laughs> That's right. I want to say to all of you that are watching now that got preachers that advertise their degrees, PhD, DD, LLD, FX. UPS, all them degrees like a thermometer. Amen. Out a bunch of letters all around their name like they live in alphabets. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Out of all your book learning. All of that. That don't mean nothing to God. God has chosen the foolish things of the world. God can get someone uneducated. Yeah. Yes, he can. Uneducated. That's right. Thank God that when the Spirit of God stepped in him, God can give him more education than anybody that been in school. That's right. It's wonderful. Look at Mr. Darwin. Yeah. 
all his education, all of that. Big Bang Theory, mm -hmm. and still came out alive. That's right. That's right. Whenever you study Hebrew, Greek, and Latin, and <laughs> pluralize the Godhead. Amen. Study all them languages and still ain't got, they still can't count the one God. That's right. That's right. <laughs> all them languages and all still them. can't count up to one God. Amen. Just so foolish and so deceived of your father, the devil. That's what right. What did he say there? God had chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. What else? And God had chosen the weak things he of the world. the weak things of the world. To confound the things which are mighty. To confound the things that are mighty. And base things of the world. The low things of the world. And things which are and despised. things that are despised, ha unwanted, unloved, rejected. Hath God chosen. Do you see how opposite he works? Amen. God come make a preacher out of someone who you least expect. Mm -hmm. huh? That's right. One that's been rejected. Yeah. One that someone didn't notice a ministry would even come out of it. That's right. And in fact, I believe in the book of Hebrew, it talks about how Moses gave attendance at the altar, at the altar. and uh, wasn't even aware that mm -hmm. something was coming out of that. That's right. All right, you better move quick to the sixth chapter of the book of Ephesians. And I'm again at verse 10. Now, I want to get that quickly. Quickly. Because we're not finished. We got to get dressed up for the war. Now in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. And I want to itemize what all this protection is for. That's right. All right. Finally, my brethren. Be this chapter and verse again. In Ephesians the sixth chapter and we're at verse 10. What? Finally, my brethren. Hold it right there. Amen. Three words was made. Finally. Three words were spoken. That's right. And I see a whole lot of in there. Wonderful. When he just said finally. Finally. That lets me know before that statement was made, a whole lot of things either was said or went on. <laughs> That's right. So when the smoke clear, brothers. Finally. Brothers. Mm -hmm. Finally. Finally, my brethren. What happened? Be strong in the Lord. After mm -hmm. all that shouting. All that testifying, That's all it. that coming to church, That's right. all that reading the Bible. That's right. Finally. Finally. What you need to be. Be strong in the Lord. Finally. That's something. Man. Young man, middle-aged man, Hallelujah. old man. Hallelujah. Finally. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Homosexual, mm -hmm. finally, finally, my brethren, be strong enough to say no. That's right. Amen. That's right. Finally, Amen. be strong enough, Go ahead. brother. Go ahead. Say no to them cigarettes. Yeah. I don't mean put them up on a shelf and see how long they attempt you. <laughs> no. Finally, be strong enough. To tell that preacher, no, you ain't ordaining me. That's right. Ah, uh, no, 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 you ain't ordaining me. You're not ordaining me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Are you listening? Finally, my brother. What? Be strong in the Lord. When you're strong, you will take the message of holiness. Yeah. That's right. When you're weak, you'll be part of a clique. That's right. You're weak. That's right. Weak people hang with cliques. Yeah. Click a click you in hell. Amen. Strong, stay neutral, and stay on God's side. That's right. Preach it, brother. Preach it. Are you listening? Finally, my brethren. Finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord. All that jumping and shouting, yeah, you better get some strength in you. That's some strength. All that jumping and shouting and shaking is good, but, right. but finally. Finally, be strong. That means when it's all over. Be strong in the Lord. Are you strong? Amen. Wonderful, man. Wonderful. Are you strong? Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, man. Hallelujah. Well, you go to jail for what you're shouting over. Mm. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Well, you go with me to any country, go with you. any state, any village. Hallelujah. And if I'm threatened with you, are you willing to be threatened along with me? Along with you. Or are you willing to just shake and run? Go ahead. That's it. That's it. Man. Finally! Finally, my brethren. 
Glory to God. Be strong in the Lord. When all the shouting is done. Mm -hmm. Be strong in the Lord. And running around them cameras. Yeah. Finally. Finally. My brethren. When you sit back down from musical chairs. Finally, my brethren. Finally, be strong in the Lord. My brethren. Hallelujah. He what? Be strong in the Lord. Jesus said it this way. Go ahead, man. Can you drink of the cup that I drink and of? I drink of. Can you be baptized with the baptism I'm I baptized, baptized with? with. Mm. Word of God said we're killed. All the gate off. My Lord, my Lord. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Listen, do you know what you and Jesus supposed to have in common? You're supposed to be crucified with him. With him. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Glory. They're supposed to be crucified with him. Or I thank God when they nail the nails in his hands. Mm. I am crucified with Christ. Do you hear this? In Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. Says what? I am crucified with Christ. Are you crucified with Christ tonight? <laughs> My Lord. What do you mean crucify? You know, when your hands are nailed, mm. the freedom that you normally would have is taken away. That's right. <laughs> mm. Hallelujah to God. Go ahead. Feet was nailed. Yeah. When your feet nailed, you can't go where you want to go. That's right. Because the freedom is taken away. That's right. Mm. And when the nail is in your feet and in your hands, you are in pain. Yeah. Because you want freedom. Yeah. But you have to be crucified with Christ. With yeah. Christ. Lord help us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Willingly surrendering your will. Willingly. Mm. Thank God, Pastor Paul preached the crucifixion of ourself mm -hmm. by the Holy Ghost when he said, touch not. Yeah. That means I'm nailed. Amen. Hand or not. Then he says, don't let your feet be swift to run into mischief. Yeah, Something got my momentum nailed. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Crucified. Crucified. With Christ. Hmm. Got to be crucified mm. without be putting up on a tree. That's right. That's right. Mm. That's right. What do you mean? Now you got to drink of the cup that he drank. Of. He's drinking. And you got to be submerged in what he was submerged in. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. What did he say there? I am crucified with Christ. And what? Nevertheless, Nevertheless. I live. Something about it. Right then, he point out two wills. That's right. Can you see it? That's right. Two now, wills. Now I see it. I'm crucified with Christ. I'm dying out to my will. Nevertheless, and I'm crucified with Christ. With Christ. So just like he was surrendering mm -hmm. on the cross, mm -hmm. surrendering his life. To the Father. Go ahead. I must surrender my life to the Father. Go ahead. I don't want to do it. Mm. So I find myself praying. Yeah. Lord, yeah. let this come back. That's right. Go ahead. The flesh start praying. Go Lord, ahead. I don't want to give him up. Lord, I don't want to do this. Lord, I don't want to do that. Go ahead. And you don't get no answer. And when you don't get no answer, now you got to change your prayer. And stop asking. And just say, not my will. Go ahead. Let's find you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's what Jesus did. That's what he did. He prayed. That's right. If it be at all possible, that's right. Let this cup pass. Yes, sir. 
spirit ain't said nothing. Why? Because the spirit knew that when the church would come later, many of them will want the same thing to happen. That's right. Don't want to die. Don't want to die. Not wanting to die represent not wanting to surrender, yeah. not wanting to give up, yeah. not wanting to give over, yeah. not wanting to lay down your will. That's it. Pray it again. Pray it again. Yeah, it's all possible. Let it pass. That's right. No answer from heaven. No answer. No answer. Try it the third time. Yeah. If it be at all possible, yeah. possible. let it pass. Yeah. Holy Ghost ain't saying nothing. That's right. Son of man realize I ain't got no answer. No. I better change up here. Oh yeah. Not my will. Not my will. What you mean, Lord? Don't never mind what I ask you. Do it the way you want it. Do it. Take off. Hallelujah. Never mind what I say. Go ahead. Do it the way you want it. Go ahead. Do it how you want it. Go ahead. Do it when you want it. Go ahead. Do it why you want it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you ask God for the Holy Ghost, yeah. never ask Him when to fill you. That's right. Never ask Him where to fill you. That's right. Just ask Him, fill you. That's it. Let Him decide. That's right. He may want you to get it on your job. Yeah. Let that be God's decision. Hey. You just wait hey. on the Lord. Hey. He shall renew your strength. Go ahead. Stay there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay there. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Never mind what time of day it is. That's right. Stay there. That's it. That's right. Hallelujah. We pray foolishly. Yeah. Asking the Lord to fill us on our birthday. <laughs> That's right. Fill us on New Year's night. Right. Fill us when Pastor Dennis come in town. That's true. God, the Holy Ghost ain't sitting around me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. What kind of foolish prayer is that? Go ahead, brother. Preach it, man. Preach it. Preach it, brother. Preach it. Oh, when Pastor Dennis come in town. Yeah. Oh, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Why are you on the way for me to come? <laughs> Just right. ask him to fill you. That's it. It may get you before my plane get there. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. It's good teaching, man. That's something. I might not make it there. That's right. It's good teaching. You better hear what I'm telling you. <laughs> it's good teaching, brother. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, son. I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified. Hallelujah. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Now, I'm crucified with Christ, so I'm surrendering my will. Mm -hmm. Yet, I live. I live. Yet not I. Yet not I, but Christ. Christ me living. Christ liveth in me. That means this. Yet I live means now I'm able to do the will of God. Mm -hmm. But this is how I'm able to do it. But Christ, Christ liveth in me. He's working in me. That's right. That's it. Hallelujah. Are you getting this tonight? Hallelujah. Go to the book of your figures real quick, son, because time has moved. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. That is what I want to encourage all of you tonight. Amen. You that are watching, you that are listening, mm -hmm. you that are watching, that have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ after hearing the truth of God. Mm -hmm. It don't help you none. You're mm -hmm. going to be baptized and then go back to the false religion you came from. No. When you repent of your sins and go down in water, in mm -hmm. the name of Jesus Christ, you got to come out of come that out. false religion, that Amen. false church forever. That's right. Forever. That's right. Forever. You got to come out of that stronghold. That's a stronghold. Because the word of God is going to keep pulling that religion down. I don't care how long you stay there. That's it's right. going to pull it down. Yes, it will. Finally, my brother. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Finally, my brother. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. And in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Now we're at war, brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. And you're at war with yourself. Amen. So when you come to the house of God, keep your foot. Oh, yeah. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us don't consider that we're doing evil. That's right. That's true. You got to put on how much of the armor? The whole armor of God. Whole. <laughs> That's the problem with many of you. Mm -hmm. You 
you know, went out with these loud, long boat testimonies, taking up time, <laughs> and ain't prepared for battle. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Jumping, 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 and then can't follow instructions. <laughs> Amen. Follow instructions teach you how to fight. Yeah. It prepares you for battle. That's right. That's right. Listen. Put on the whole armor of God. That you know, when you in the, I never was in the military, but my father was in the Korean War for eight years on the front line, a medic. And uh, they don't make your bed in the military like you do at home. At home, you may make your bed and just... Whoosh. And God in the military, you got to have that stuff so tight. And then when you get in your bed, you get, it's like getting in the glove. <laughs> They want it. They want the covers to be neat, even while you're sleeping. That's right. That's right. Creases in your pants. Mm -hmm. Creases in your shirt. Yes, sir. Shoes. Spit shot. Yeah. Amen. Can't have a smudge on nothing without the drill sergeant getting on you. That's right. Even the drill sergeant don't want you to have a spot mm -hmm. or a wrinkle Amen. or any such thing. That's right. Now, if the drill sergeant wanted, you think God don't know what he want out of you? Amen. God Almighty declared mm. he going to present unto himself a glorious church, not having, having a spot, spot or a wrinkle or any such thing. That's but right. He said how he wanted to be. It should. And be. It should be what? Holy. What? Holy. What? Holy. Ain't nothing else going to cut it with God. That's right. That's right. And nothing else going to cut it with God. No, no. Hallelujah to God. What Amen. did he say? Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But what? But against principalities, against powers. You see, you're dealing with spirits. Yeah. This is a spiritual warfare. Amen. That's right. That's what makes your struggle more greater. That's right. Because you're up against Satan. Mm hmm. Not when against you're listen. up against Satan, he will enhance what's already in you. That's right. And then bring to you what you never had. That's right. That's true. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. That's true. Amen. What did he say there? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against but principalities. Against principalities. Against powers. Power. Against the rulers of the, rulers the darkness of, of this darkness world. Of this world. Against spiritual wickedness. I told you. Amen. Against spiritual wickedness. In high places. Stay out of false churches. Yeah. You will get spirits. Yes, you will. Oh, yeah. Spirit Spiritual. make a woman think she can preach. That's right. That's right. Spirit make a man want to want to marry another man. That's right. Spiritual wickedness. Spirit make a man ordain a woman a deaconess. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Spirit make a man declare himself an apostle, then preaches three gods. <laughs> That's right. That's a spirit. Spirit made a man start a Baptist church. Yeah. The spirit of the devil did all this. That's right. Because it did all that stuff after the Lord said, behold it. Right. After that. See, whenever the Lord said something, mm -hmm. and then the devil come after him, mm -hmm. the devil bring what God did not bring. That's right. All oh, this Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian. You don't find apostolic in the Bible, viewers. No. You may not like what I'm saying, and you know I don't care if you don't. Amen. You don't find apostolic or apostolic in the Bible. No. Nowhere. Nowhere. You find apostle. That's a man that's called and sent by God. Apostolic is supposed to be the name of the faith that the apostles had, and they never professed such a name. That's right. They professed a good profession. That's right. Before many witnesses. Before many witnesses. And I don't read where none of the witness heard them say they're apostolic. No, they didn't. And they professed mm -hmm. a good profession, good profession. Before many witnesses. Many witnesses. The faith that the apostles had were holy. Holy faith. It was a holy faith. Holy faith. I'm not making it up. It's in your Bible, stiff neck, mm -hmm. hard head preacher. It's in Jude chapter 1 and verse 20. Jude only got one chapter, so it shouldn't be. You ain't got to flip a lot of pages. <laughs> That's right. Right next to Revelation. That's it. Mm -hmm. Jude 1 and at verse 20. All of you that claim you're apostolic, you're in error. Amen. Amen. You are professing something that Jesus never professed. That's right. Never. 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 That's right. The apostles got their faith from Jesus. Yes, they did. 
Hmm? That's right. They got their faith from Christ. That's right. They got it from God. That's right. And the doctrine of the apostle is what teaches us our holy faith. Oh, that's it. Listen. Jude 1 and verse 20. Right, it. But ye beloved. Ye church. Ye church. Building. Ye church. Yeah. That's it. Building up. Building up yourselves. Building up yourselves on what? On your most holy faith. How holy is it? Holy faith. How holy is it? Most holy. Most holy. If it's most holy, it comes from the most high. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. That means there's nothing greater. Most holy. Most holy. From the most high. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Building up yourselves. When I read the Bible, Hallelujah. only holy people are going to make the first resurrection. That's right. I'm not making that up. That's right. And, and holy is holy. Is he, is he the half part in the first, first resurre resurrection? First resurrection. Amen. Only holy people are going to make it. Only holy people. You <laughs> think that means people that just got the Holy Ghost? No. No. Because there's a lot of folk got the Holy Ghost, but they ain't holy. <laughs> That's true. That's oh, true. So you, you can have the Holy Ghost and not be holy? Yeah. Oh, yes. People received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue in a Baptist church. That's true. Hallelujah. People received the Holy Ghost in Pentecostal churches. Yeah. And so-called apostolic faith churches. Yeah. And still not holy. Still not holy. Because they don't believe all was written. That's right. That's right. Some got the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue and don't believe in a baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Amen. And not hold it. That's right. So I said, that's impossible. That's the way I was. This is an example. Amen. That's right. Williams was firmly mm -hmm. against the baptism. When we grew up together, he was a three God man, so you know he was blind all the way around. <laughs> he had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. I that's mean, the real deal. That's right. But he fought me, fought. I don't know how many years. Oh, yeah. Over the baptism. Mm -hmm. Pointing his fingers in my face just like he do now. <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> Told me you don't know what you're talking about. That's right. You ain't got I mean why I, one day I hound him so bad with the Bible, he jumped off my porch and went walking down the street throwing his hands, <laughs> yelling, It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, take God until one day. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Got one scripture. Yeah. And got another. Amen. And then with that weapon, rolled on. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Rolled on him so hard, he went down in the water. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 As a gender, you mean to tell me somebody can receive the Holy Ghost before they're baptized? Yes! Yes! All right, thank God when the word of God fell upon Cornelius, the Italian folk. Yeah. The Bible said, why pity yet speak the word? The Holy Ghost fell on all of them that heard the word. Heard the word. And they that believed were astonished, even mm -hmm. them that came with Peter, mm -hmm. because they know the Gentiles also was put out the gift of the Holy Ghost, yeah. because they heard them speak in tongues, mm -hmm. and they magnify God. That's right. Then it, answer Peter, can any man forbid water? Mm -hmm. That these should not be baptized, right. which have received the Holy Ghost like we have? As well as we. Then he commanded them. Yeah. Anytime the Bible commands something, there's no negotiation. No, it's not. Viewers, 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 radio listeners, mm -hmm. internet watchers. Amen. Baptism is a commandment. And he commanded them. Any preacher says it's an outward sign of inward grace, that's an outward lie told from an inward devil. <laughs> that's right. You're not baptized, you're not. You're, you're nothing not. but a sinner full of the devil and on your way to hell. That's it. You bow your head and raise your hands. You might as well put your hands down and raise your head up. <laughs> that's right. You ain't saved, you're a sinner. Still a sinner. Amen. Sinner. You mm -hmm. upset at me now, aren't you? Sinner. Yeah. Amen. You about to turn it off? Leave it alone, you sinner. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You've been sprinkled by some priests. Mm -hmm. 
Threw water on you. Threw water on you. You ain't done nothing. No. You might as well went on and got in the shower and took your clothes off. That's it. And you soap. That's right. Some of you looked at some false prophet on television, mm. like T.D. Snakes. Yeah. And Benny Hill. Yeah. And Creffler O'Penny. <laughs> Amen. And Fred without a price. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Amen. And the pimps of L.A. Preach it, Pastor. And the dogs of New York. Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. Hallelujah. You got that man made rotten religion. It's rotten, That's rotten. Right. It's rotten. That's right. Trash religion. Yeah. Bow your head and raise your hands to the trash salvation. That's it. Praying the sinner's prayer and no such prayer ever is in the Bible. That's trash salvation. That's right. Joining the church, mm -hmm. trash salvation. Trash. Praying to Mary and Mary is dead. Yeah. Don't know you, you don't know her. That's trash right. salvation. That's right. Ignore how I sound. Amen. Pay attention to what I'm saying. That's it. That way you can sweep up your trash. That's right. That's right. You got to repent. You see, God wants you to be sorry about your wrong because the Lord knows you're of the devil. That's right. Huh? That's right. And before you get a person to change, they got to be sorry about their wrong. Yeah. You got to repent. Now, repent. if you were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and you did not repent it, then that's no good. That's no good. That's no good. That's right. Because the commandment, repentance is also a commandment. That's right. The Bible says in a time of this ignorance. God winked at. God winked at. But now. But when? Now. When? Now, now God commandeth all men everywhere to repent. To repent. All and men. Peter said, "Repent mm. and be baptized, every one of you. Every one of you. Every one of you. That's it. Huh? Every one of you. Everyone. That's right. Black, white, yellow, red, white man, white man. Hey, white brother. That's it. Do you think you're too white to be baptized? My you do. Lord. Mm. You think you're too white to be baptized? Amen. You might as well bring your white skin and put it in my black hands. Go ahead. So I can take you down in water. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Black man! Go ahead, man. Black man! Black man. You think you're too black to be baptized? Amen. God will put you in the hands of your white brother. Yes, he and will. And take you down in the water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. I don't care what color you are. No, Listen, no. if he's so black, you look like it's the street. <laughs> and when you walk the street, people don't know you. Don't that know. is you. <laughs> If they feel a bump in the road, you know. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Hallelujah. So black. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Walk around black power. You ain't got no power. Black power. Black power. That's and these true. other bigots, white power. Yeah. None of you got power. None of you. You want power? Come on and obey God. That's right. And be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's right. If you're being doing with power from on high. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Black and white biggest walking around holding your hands up. Black power. That's right. Black power. That's right. And then some of you infidels holding the Hitler salute. White power. Yeah. White power. Mm -hmm. Let every soul. Now let me tell you something, white man, mm -hmm. black man. Mm -hmm. You're going to feel the power of hell. Yes, you will. You're going to find your black britches right in hell. That's right. And your white britches in hell. That's right. And you ain't going to be able to hold that salute at all. No, you won't. Won't be no salute, no fist, no nothing. No nothing. Do you hear the old troublemaker? That's right. Put on the whole armor of God. You're going to read quick something because I'm ready to knock off. Come on, son. Back in Ephesians 6 and verse 10, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And what? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rules of the darkness of this world, right against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. Wherefore, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God. Got to get the whole thing on. That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Well, it's evil now, isn't it? Amen. The purpose of putting on the whole armor is for what reason? That ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. This is why people backslide. Yeah. This is why they backslide. That's right. Because they don't have the armor on, the armor. so they can endure the battle. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Now, some of you did have the armor on, mm -hmm. but you let that man unbuckle it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Let that woman unsnap it. Unsnap it. 
and you reveal your vulnerable self. Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? Yeah. Come on. Wherefore, take oh, unto you this is so good. the whole armor of God. How much of it? The whole armor when of God. When you got the whole armor, you'll be willing to stand against the whole world. Mm. And doesn't matter whether the Democrats or Republicans or Tea Party or whatever call themselves rise up against the standard of God, you will right. stand firm and solid. That's right. I don't care who fight what we preach. That's right. I'm not budging at all. No. What decision the government make don't even cause me to lose sleep. Amen. Amen. We are standing firmly on the foundation that God lays. That's right. Not intimidated by nobody. Wonderful. Nowhere. Wonderful. No time. Amen. From no place. That's right. If an angel come from heaven, he better preach what I'm preaching. That's right. Or let the angel be a curse. Let him be a curse. As I said before, mm -hmm. so sad now again. That's right. If any man come Amen. and don't bring what the apostles preach, then let that man be a curse That's also. That's right. That's right. God, this stuff will tie heaven up and tie earth down. Oh, yeah. What scripture says, hear, O heaven, and give ear, O earth. earth. Come on, son. Take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, oh, yes, and having done all to stand. Now, when you think that you've done all you could do mm -hmm. to stand, mm -hmm. you better go back and reevaluate and conclude what? Stand, therefore. Keep it up. Amen. That's right. Stand. Look at how long you've been doing it. Mm -hmm. Stand some more. Stand therefore. Don't glory because you endured something. No. Because the same thing you endured may come around or something just like it. That's right. Or worse than it. Oh, yeah. If it ain't, a, if it ain't one thing, it's another. And if yeah. it's not another, it's the same thing. The same thing. Huh? Amen. Come on. Stand therefore. Stand for, stand for. Have you see, when you don't, mm -hmm. when you're not standing, you're not sound. No. The moment the word of God chastises you, you fall apart. Yeah. Can't take it no more. The, lay out of church almost six months. That's right. For you to recuperate, you got to stay out of church. It's right. so backward. That's backward. That's like saying for me to wash, I don't get in the tub. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Stay dry. I'm gonna take a bath. How? I'm gonna look at the tub. Look at it. <laughs> Amen. Let's go look at it. That's right. You'll be a stinking watcher. <laughs> huh? Amen. Well, then who's that watcher? That's stinking. That's right. That's right. Get the full armor on. Whole armor. You better. I, come on, son. I want the. I want to detail what the armor is. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Now, your loins girdle. Girt. You know what girdle is? A girdle was used for support. Yeah. Huh? Amen. Oh, yeah. Tie down that which have momentum. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Keep things steady and stable. <laughs> stable. That woman put that girdle on, she's tying that stuff down. That's right. Go ahead, man. Is that right? Go ahead. Even you got even you have men. Many men put on a girdle. Yeah. For support. Tie themselves down. That's right. You need a girdle on your mind. That's right. Because your mind too loose. Amen. And oh, your yeah. belief is too shaken. Too shaken. And your emotions is too unstable. That's right. That's right. That's right. One scripture says, don't be so soon shaken. Shaken in mind. In where? In mind. You better put the girdle on. That's right. Mm -hmm. Having your loins Having girdled your about loins with truth. Girdled about with what? With truth. Truth mm. will cut down momentum. Yes, it will. Truth will cut down mental and emotional movement. That's right. It'll stabilize it. That's right. And bring stability mm. and bring calm Amen. in a troubled soul. That's right. Hallelujah. It's wonderful. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Having your loins girt about with truth. What else? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Now, the Lord know there's something in your chest. That he got problems with. Amen. That's your heart. That's the heart. And God preached the problems he had with it. Mm. He said it's the most deceitful thing. Most deceitful. Then he told that the heart have another character. Mm. It's desperately, desperately wicked. wicked. You ever yeah. seen a desperate person? Yes, now when a person is desperate, don't be surprised what they would do. That's right. A desperate person have no boundaries of getting things done. That's right. Now, what did the Holy Ghost say there? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate. You need something to protect your heart. Yeah. What of God is for chest protection. Oh, yeah. 
That way your emotions don't be everywhere. <laughs> That's right. First woman you see, I love her. Right. First one. First brother you see, that's mine. That's right. Go ahead. Rest, please. First sister you see, all you did was saw her walk. That's mine. That's my wife. Yeah. I claimed it. Go ahead, brother. First brother you saw in church shaking. Oh, that's mine. I want. I, I, I want that spirit. You don't know what kind of spirit that fool got. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know what kind of spirit that fool got. That's right. You judge him because he's shaped. He's shaped. You're foolish. <laughs> foolish and blind. That's right. Do you hear what the word of God said? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. You need stability. Oh, yeah. That way your emotions ain't everywhere. Right. And in one year's time, you love about 10 people. Right. You fell in love with about 10 people right. in one year's time. My Lord. The breastplate. Who do you love? <laughs> I don't know who you love. Don't know who you love and don't know what you love. That's right. That's truth. Amen. Go ahead, man. Then talk to that brother. That relationship didn't work. Then talk to that brother. Said you love him. That didn't work. Then talk to that brother. Think you love him. That didn't work. Yeah. What do you need? Breastplate of righteousness. You need something to protect your heart. Yeah. Because the devil is shooting, at, shooting it at it and giving you artificial love. That's right. That's and right. when they give you artificial love, you don't know what it is. And because you're blind and dumb and don't know what it is, you're <laughs> on your knees. <laughs> Will you marry me? Hallelujah. Will you marry me? Hallelujah. Don't know what hit him. Amen. Don't even know who's kneeling in front of you. No. And don't even know what's kneeling in front of you. That's true. That's true. Some of us are so materialistic as long as he's working and bringing in bacon. <laughs> Amen. Lord help us. We love him because of the car he drives. Yeah. And our eyes is expensive. Yeah. We love her because the way she's built. Right. The way she walked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We love her because she got meat. <laughs> That's right. Make for it your plain. belly. <laughs> Make it plain. Brother. Love her for her hair. Yeah. Love her for her complexion. Mm. Love her because she make more money than you. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Love her so you can use a car. Yeah. Love her so you can use her credit card. Oh, yeah. Love her so you can drain her bank account. Right. Love her because you can't afford a place, so you love her so you can move in hers. Right. Am I right? Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Get the plane, brother. Go ahead. What did the Holy Ghost say? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. You're so foolish and deceived by your father, the devil. Amen. You got to get dressed for war. Oh, yeah. All these emotions. Mm -hmm. Two and three men in love with in one year. One year. If I'm about to walk down the altar one year mm -hmm. and that ain't working, how in the world I'm about to walk down the altar the next year with somebody else? Right. That's right. Love is not a hop of grass. No. Real love is stable. Real love. That's right. Hey, I'm making marriage plans and all that stuff. I love you singing like Sonny and Cher. I love you, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah? right. Glory to God. Writing cards and sending cards and giving money and all that stuff. Hallelujah. Then next year, somebody else. Somebody else. Yeah, after that, somebody else. That's right. Chicken one year, turkey the other, <laughs> hen the next, mm -hmm. pig the next, <laughs> horse the next. 
A weasel the next. Lord. A gopher the next. And then when the smoke clear, end up with a skunk. My Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. How are you listening? Hallelujah. You better hear the old man. That's right. I want to give you something good. That's right. This is for your soul. Mm -hmm. Come on. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Having on chest protection. That way your heart is stable. Mm -hmm. Stable emotions bring about discipline of feeling. That's right. When your feelings is disciplined, you ain't falling in love with Mary and Ruth and Naomi and Martha and the woman with the issue of blood. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Am I right, I say? That's right. That's right. Go ahead, man. Get me. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Please don't think sex mm. prove love. Mm. Never happened. Never happened. Never Good teaching, brother. You better hear me. Good teaching. If many could wind back the clock, that man or that boy mm. that touched them, if they could wind back the clock, that boy wouldn't come nowhere near him. That's right. That girl that touched them, if they could wind back the clock, they wouldn't let her nowhere near them. No. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Breastplate. Breastplate of righteousness. Get me, viewers. Breastplate of righteousness. Your heart needs protection. Yeah. Your heart got protection, you'll realize your pastor lying to you, That's and you'll right. stop loving those lies. That's right. You won't feel such a connection with them. That's true. Sex don't prove love. Yeah. That's right. You out there think that somebody love you because they had sex, you don't even know what love is. No. That's like someone who don't know the difference between a mule and a horse. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You don't know the difference between a mule and a horse. My Lord. There's a difference between a mule and a horse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. The difference. That's right. Amen. That's right. I want to soak you a little. Amen. I want that way you are slow your road about being on an emotional spree. Mm -hmm. You won't go crazy. Because of the way she look or the way he look. Right. The next thing you know, you see someone else in another country. Another. And another country. That's right. And then you get the same effect in every country you go. Mm. Before you know it, you got a mind to marry about 50 people. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Multitude. Your heart is desperately wicked. It's desperately wicked. Desperately wicked. That's right. Look how close that some of you came walking down some altar. Mm. Look how close some of you came walking down some aisle Amen. to some altar. Yeah. With someone you wasn't even in love with. That's true. You thought he or she was everything. And you know what was your measuring stick? Sex. That's right. You poor fool. That's right. You's a poor fool. Amen. That's why some of you young girls crazy about that older man. Yeah. You really think he love you because he has sex. Amen. You say you got a sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. Some of you young men the same way. Same way. Got a woman older than you. Mm -hmm. Oh man, she loved me. Why you say she love you, young blood? <laughs> That's man. right. She buy me sneakers, man. I mean, I mean, she got me a bank account. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, she let me drive a Bentley, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She treat me good. You ain't nothing but her male hoe. That's it. That's right. Young hellbound stud. Amen. <laughs> stud. Go ahead, man. Bang. Go ahead. 
I've met countless of young men that talk just like that. Mm. Brag because they think they're in love with their mama. With the mama. And in many cases, their grandmama. Mm. Very old. <laughs> Amen. Many people measuring stick of love. I'm almost broke. <laughs> this is many people measuring stick of love. Yes. Am I telling the truth? Amen. Amen. That man turn your head when he's in a Benz or a Porsche. Yeah. Jack. Bentley Rose. That's right. Maserati. Amen. Don't even know whether he's mentally challenged or what. Or what. That's Don't know true. whether he's an alcoholic or a rapist. That's true. Or an abuse of women. That's right. You're so foolish. Your measurement stick is stupidity. Yeah. Mm. You that are watching, you better get your children to the television. Yeah. This is what they need. What they need. This is reality television. That's right. That's right. Many of you write me and said, I can't believe that man saying these things over the air. <laughs> Why not? Why not? You think it. Mm -hmm. You see it every day. Yeah. I'm a divine journalist. That's right. Extra, extra, read all about it. God is talking here. God is talking. <laughs> Sex don't mean he love you. Sex don't mean she love you. No. No. It never did. It never did. Go ahead, man. Because he got you pregnant? That don't mean he love you. I don't mean that. I don't mean that. You want to know whether he love you? Wait till that baby come. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Go find out. That's right. I want to soak you a little and make the devil hot. <laughs> Amen. What did the Holy Ghost have? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. You young people, do not be unstable with your emotions. Yeah. So quick to give out your phone numbers and your email address. Yeah. First girl you meet, you want a joint account with her. First girl you meet, you giving up money. Giving up money. Yeah. Ready to give her cards and flowers, and you never gave your mama nothing. Amen. Get me! Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Mm. First woman you should buy flowers for is your mama. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. You ain't got to wait for a special day to do it. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Amen. What did he say there? And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate is chest protection because your emotions need not to be played with. That's right. So your heart need Wonderful, to be man. protected. Right. Stop looking for someone else to protect them. Mm. You're supposed to protect it yourself. That's right. You put your heart in someone else's hands looking for them to protect it. How can they protect what they cannot understand? Yeah. Hallelujah. Have you thought of that? Hallelujah. How can a man or a woman protect something they can't even comprehend? They comprehend it. You got to be able to comprehend the heart. That's right. And the best knowledge of the heart it lies in God's everlasting word. That's right. That's why many that are married now, if they can wind back the clock, they won't walk down the aisle. You'll find them walking back. <laughs> Everything will be back. They go in that room, come out the gown. Here, pull off the tux. Everything is rewind. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is rewind. Rewound. That's right. Hey, I knew that stuff so fast. Amen. Come out of his suit, come out of his tux, put back on his jeans and sneakers, and go back on the court. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. She had come out of her gown so quick she had tear it. <laughs> That's right. 
Come out the shoes and break the hill. Amen. Your heart need to be protected. That's right. And need to be stabilized. Mm -hmm. Then you'll stop falling in love with every time Dick and Harry you see. Yeah. Wonderful, brothers. You don't find this teaching in churches. Oh, no, no. Stay away from it. You're too busy holding the neighbor hand. <laughs> That's right. Let the neighbor hand alone for you think you in love with him. Right. <laughs> Amen, I said. Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. And having on the breastplate of righteousness. Having on chest protection. And your feet shod. Your feet shod with. With the preparation of the gospel of peace. Now, your feet shod. Mm -hmm. A good man's steps is ordered by who? By the Lord. Because he does what? Directed his steps. Now, if your feet is shod with the preparations, preparations Preparation. of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Of what? Of peace. Of what? Of peace. Of what? Of peace. So if my steps is ordered by the Lord, mm -hmm. it gives me peace because peace. I'm following him. That's right. But if I don't allow God to direct my steps, then my life going to cause me to be plundered into confusion. That's right. That's right. I'm walking a way that God did not intend. Amen. And you'll be proposing to this one, proposing to that one, proposing to this one, proposing to that one. Yeah. This engagement broke off, that engagement broke off, that engagement broke off, that engagement broke off. Yeah. Everywhere. Don't you come nearer out and hmm. somebody else is in your heart. Mm. That's right. Get me. That's right. Get me. That's right. Don't even walk halfway down the aisle. Halfway down. Don't even go spot out of church. <laughs> Amen. Somebody else is in your heart. Amen. Don't settle for what you don't want. Right. But when you marry... And know you, and know in your heart you are settling. You are mm. desperate. Right. When he is not who you want and what you want, what you and want. she's not who you want and what you want, and you say, "Well, I'm not gonna find it." Well, I just may as well go on and do it. You're settling. That's settling. You're desperate. That, that's right. And you're going to live in misery. Yes, you will. Because who you want and what you want going to be on your mind. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. Where your treasure is, uh -oh. in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 21, where your I treasure... I don't care. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, yeah, man. Amen. It doesn't matter, sister, who that fella is you marry. If mm -hmm. that's not the person you really want, you really want. he's going to be on your mind. I don't care if you move to Arabia. That's right. You're going to be thinking about him while you on a camel. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You on a camel in a Sahara. Amen. You're going to be thinking about it. Yeah. Because Jesus said this. Give chapter and verse. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 21. Says what? For where your treasure is. What you value. Mm -hmm. Treasure. Where your treasure is, that which you value. There will your heart be also. Your heart going to be there. That's right. Even if he's dead. Mm. You know you can be in love with a dead man? Dead man. That's right. My father been dead. This year make 25 years. Mm. And my mother's still in love with him. My Lord. She's in love with a dead man. That's right. That's right. A quarter of a century. Mm. That's strong love. That's strong love. Why? Because, you know, a good man is hard to come by. Oh, yeah. It's just as easy. It's just as easy. It's just as easy to find a good man. As it is a roach the size of the Empire State Building that wear glasses and a derby and telemade suit My and Lord. hot top Stacey Adams. My Lord. Very, very And read a newspaper with all his legs crossed. <laughs> and with his antennas, he can get different television stations. Very hard to find. Hard to find a good man. Amen. <laughs> that's, that, uh, yeah, that's hard to find a good man. It's a hard to find one. They don't want to take care of no family. They don't want to take care of the wife. They don't want to work. They don't want to do nothing. Nothing. I had men tell me to my face, 
I want to marry a man who going I want to marry a woman who gonna work and take care of me. That's right. I have, I have had men tell me this. That's something. I want a woman that's gonna work and take care of me. My lord. I don't want to work. Let her work <laughs> and let me stay on. Mm. And what made it so bad? I've met young women that's dumb enough to agree to it. <laughs> that's right. He was a fool to agree to it. Amen. Glory to God. What's wrong with this generation? What's wrong I, with I, 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 I marvel. Amen. I marvel. I marvel. Amen. But see, when you're desperate, you settle for anything. Yeah. Not anything. You'll anything. settle for it. Anything. That's right. That's right. Before you question whether he or she love you, first see how much you love yourself. Yeah. And if you love yourself, you won't settle for anything. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. What did the Holy Ghost say? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. What else? Back in uh, Ephesians. Move quick in the book of Ephesians, son. I need to finish up. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 15. You got to get all the armor like he said. The hold whole on, armor. Hold on. You only gave me part so far. <laughs> Amen. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. All right. Above all. Hold it. Notice the language of scripture. Above all. Above everything. Every piece of armor you put on. Mm -hmm. Above all that. Taking the shield of faith. Amen. No piece of armor work mm -hmm. without faith. That's right. That's right. That's why it says above, above all, all. Above all. That means more than anything else. Yeah. I don't care what you do. Mm -hmm. If you don't have faith, yeah. your armor don't work. Don't work. In other words, if you don't believe God, you mm -hmm. will fail. Yes, you will. Bible said that which is not of faith sin. is sin. It's sin. Above all. Above all. This is plain. Above all. Above all your armor. Above all what you do. Taking the shield of faith. See, my faith is my defense. Yeah. Shield. My belief in God keep me moving. Oh, yeah. Because if the marriage fall apart, uh, my faith will keep me afloat. That's right. If he leave me. My faith in God will make me stay with God. That's right. Amen. Above all. Above all. Amen. Above all. Lose my job, my mm -hmm. faith yeah. will sustain me and give me another. Hallelujah. If I'm weak, my Hallelujah. faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bible said, let the weak say, I'm strong. strong. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My faith pulled me back up, I said. That's it. Hallelujah. Above all. Above everything. Taking the shield of faith. That's why, that's why people that got doubt, I don't like to hear what they got to say. That's right. I don't care if man or woman, boy or girl, if they got doubt, I don't want to hear don't nothing hear. you got to say. Amen. Don't bring me doubt at all. That's right. The Bible said the just shall live by, by faith. faith. Hallelujah. We are God's people. We're supposed to live by what we believe. That's right. Holy Ghost said, he that come to God must, must believe. Must believe. <laughs> There's no must. way out of it. Amen. Must. Must believe that he is. Believe that God is. And that he is a rewarder. That he is a rewarder them to that them diligently that seek diligently, him. That dil Hallelujah. diligently seek him. He is a rewarder. Hallelujah. How must I seek him? Diligently. 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 Glory to God, I must be consistent Amen. in seeking Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It didn't say claim it. No. It says seek Him. Seek Him. Diligent. Must be what? Diligently. Diligent. Diligent. Amen. It's constantly doing it. That's right. That's constantly. Constantly. Never laid up. That's never, right. Never give up. Mm. This one say I don't believe that. This one say I don't see. I didn't say I don't believe. You don't. You turn a deaf ear to all of them Amen. because you're diligent in your faith. Seeking. That's right. Hey. Hallelujah. You better don't have the Holy Ghost. Be diligent. Diligently in seeking in your faith. Yeah. Heaven to get loose in a while. Go ahead, bro. Lord, they gotta let your faith just shake heaven. That's right. That's shake right. heaven up. Just shake it up. That's it. Amen. Amen. 
faith compels God to yes, mm. live up to what He said. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Faith hey. compels God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith make God notice you. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, make God notice it. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, that, hallelujah. He that come to God must, must believe. Must believe that God he is. God see you believing for what you're asking. Hallelujah. You got God's attention. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got God's attention. Hallelujah. Yeah. Faith make God's move. That's right. Hallelujah. You down there praying, but yet you doubt God. That's right. You don't believe God. Believe God. God is there, yeah. but He's there, but it's equal to this. Yeah. He's there. He's there. But when you start getting faith, man. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory! Hallelujah! 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 We're starting to get faith! Hallelujah! God say, I hear you! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Your prayers come up! Come up! Before the Lord! Before God! Before God! Before God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 Thank God for the Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. He said, "If my people, go ahead, which are called by my name, my name. will humble themselves and pray, pray. and seek my, face. seek my face, then, then, then." Then, then when I hear go ahead, from heaven, from heaven. and he said, then, then I hear. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Makes God notice it. Go ahead. He's right there. Hallelujah. But you can't get his attention yes. and unbelief. That's right. He's there. He's there. He hears you. That's right. But if you want him to do something, yes. he asking you to do something. That's right. That's you want him to move, Go ahead. cause and effect. Cause and effect. Faith brings the effect of moving. That's right. Go ahead. That's why when anybody Hallelujah. even talk doubt to me, I'm highly offended. Yeah. I don't care whether you're man, woman, boy, or girl, if it's my mama. That's right. Don't talk doubt to me about nothing. No, Anything no. that got to do with God, yeah. if you don't believe it, keep it to yourself. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Bible said that just shall live. Live by faith. That means your whole life. It's centered around faith. Yes. Hallelujah. And him we live and move. Have our being. Glory to God and have our being. Above all. Above what? Above all. Do you see how important this is? Above all. This is what makes me just turn my back against the doubters. That's right. That's I'll right. fight a doubter. Oh, yeah. Okay, you doubt, brother. When it comes to God, don't even sound like you're doubting if I'm talking to you. <laughs> That's right. If you doubt, I advise you to be quiet, be quiet. and just hum. <laughs> Amen. Keep your doubt to yourself. Amen. Because the moment comes to me, I'm highly offended. Yeah. Because my the faith is in God. That's right. That's right. And God said that just shall live by it. By faith. And some of us got so much problems in our life yeah. as a result of us, us not having faith. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Don't believe God? That opens up the avenue for the devil. Yeah. Because it takes faith to get him out of your life. That's right. Without faith, he'll stay in your life. Yes, he will. Take faith to drive him out. Yes, Doubt will keep him in. That's right. Mm. Above all. Do you hear? Above all. Hey, do you hear your uniform? That's right. Above all. He mentioned the mm. shield. Taking the shield of faith. He mentioned your feet got to be sharp. Mm -hmm. Loins girt. Your loins girt. Breastplate of righteousness. Breastplate of righteousness. And. And. Take the helmet of wait, salvation. But, before, but then he said. Wait, wait, wait. Back up. Above all. Uh, what did he say before he got to the above all? And your feet shod with the preparation. Your, sheet, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel. Of the gospel of peace. What else? Above all. Go up above the gospel of peace. Stand therefore. Stand therefore. Have having your lawns girded with truth. Your lawns girded. Your feet shod. Breastplate, breastplate of righteousness. But above all above that. Above all taking the shield of faith. Why? If you ain't got faith, your feet ain't shod. That's right. If you ain't got faith, mm -hmm. your breastplate can't protect you. That's right. None of the other stuff works. No, that's right. That's right. That's right. In other words, faith is the battery. Yeah. You can have the transmission, you can have the oil, you can have a full tank. Take the battery out, it ain't nothing happening. That's right. Nothing happening. I don't care how beautiful that car is, take the battery, car sit there. That's right. I don't care if it's 12 cylinders, take the battery out, you ain't moving. Amen. That's right. Above all. Above everything. Taking the shield of faith. Believe God. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Now, if I got faith, my other equipment works. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Now, do you see it? Amen. Without faith, my equipment don't work. Don't work. Not even my prayers work. Mm. Do you see how important faith is? That's something, brother. Without faith, you're just going through emotion. That's it. Your prayers don't work. Your prayers can't get an answer. Right. Without faith, you come to God wrong. Wrong. That's right. He said, he that come to God must believe. Must believe that he is. And if you don't is. believe, you come to him wrong. That's right. But without faith. Is it, you can't even please him unless you believe it. It is impossible. So when you talk doubt, you're displeasing God. Mm. When you have doubt, even if it's me, if I have doubt, God is displeased. God is unhappy. Mm. And if you got doubt about God, mm. doubting God about anything, God is unhappy with it. Yeah. And when you ask in doubt, you're not getting nothing. Not getting nothing. In fact, the Holy Ghost said, don't even... Don't think. even let that man think he'll get anything. Anything. Don't even think it. That's right. You better give me the first chapter of the book of James real quick. James chapter 1, we're at verse 6. James 1 and 6. But let him ask in faith. You better ask how? In faith. No, get faith after I ask. Ask in faith. No, get ask first, faith after. Ask in faith. No, ask first, faith later. Ask in faith. That means faith and asking is simultaneous. Right. Mm. Mm. Not ask first and believe after. Right. Ask in faith. While I'm asking, I'm believing. Right. You see how it's done? Go ahead. It's not ask first, believe after. Ask in faith. No. What? All your requests is all submerged in faith. <laughs> That's right. Ask That's right. in faith. It's all submerged in it. All Amen. mixed in faith. Amen. Nothing wavering. What? Nothing wavering. No instability. Mm -hmm. Nothing. If you don't believe something, keep it to yourself. Don't bring it to me. That's right. Pastor Dennis, I tried. It didn't work. Now you're saying you want to try. The okay, that's your business. That's your business. What didn't work for you, don't bring it to me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That is it. Like, like the false prophet told me mm -hmm. when I was in my teens and I told him about the work that God showed me many years ago. Mm -hmm. My former preacher told me, you think I'm foolish? I didn't answer that. <laughs> Amen. He said, it took me over 40 years to get where I am. Mm. He said, and you think you're going to have all these churches you're telling me about? You have churches all around the world and broadcasting all around the world and hundreds of people. He said, nobody, I mean nobody, is going to follow you. Nobody. My Lord. I said quiet. Mm -hmm. You know why I said quiet? 
Because the amen talked to me. That's right. The amen talked to me. The amen revealed themselves to me. And I concluded on what the amen said. That's it. That's right. Thank God and I said amen to everything the amen said. That's right. There was no wavering in my faith. No wavering. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go ahead. No wavering in no my faith. Wavering. And now I'm standing in division. That's right. Everywhere in the world that I go, I stand in division. That's right. When I go to India, I'm in division. <laughs> when I go to Africa, I'm in division. That's right. When I go to Canada or South America oh, or yeah. Europe or in anywhere in the Caribbean, anywhere by my feet touch the soil, That's right. I'm in division. That's right. I don't have time to respect Doubting folk. Amen. I don't respect your doubting at all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've been told I was a fool because of my faith. That's right. I've been told I was bewitched because of my faith. That's right. I was told I was of the devil That's right. all because of my faith. Your faith. And I went through that. As an early teenager. That's right. And if you think you can come now. Amen. And I'm, I'll be 53 next month. My Lord, too late. Way you too, too late. late. Way too late. God have already spoken before I met any of you. That's right. And God have appeared unto me That's many it. moons ago. Amen. And he's living up to what he said. Yes, he is. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What did he say there? But let him ask in faith. Let him ask in faith. Nothing, nothing waving. waving. All right, let's go back to the book of Ephesians quickly. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 at verse 16. All right. Above all, taking the shield of faith. Take the shield of faith. Wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. See, when you believe, that's your defense. Your defense. Of all the fiery darts the devil shoot at you. That's right. All negative experience that come your direction, your faith is what makes you able to fight, fight. and defend yourself. That's right. That's why faith is called a shield. Shield of Even faith. Even holiness is called a shield. Yes, it is. Isn't it? Yes, it is. You see, our faith <laughs> give us that shield. Amen. Holiness is a defense, brother. Amen. In the book of Wisdom of Solomon. It's, it's it's invincible. That's right. Amen. Listen at this. In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 19. That's right. He shall take holiness. He shall take holiness. For an invincible shield. Invincible. That's our faith. Amen. That's our faith. You see all the Bible wrapped around this. He subject? shall take holiness. That's what we decided to do. We took holiness. For an invincible shield. It's invincible. Invincible. No religion can penetrate it. No religion can crack it. No religion can put a dent in it. No false prophet can touch it. <laughs> That's right. Invincible. You know, you, you, holiness, you wouldn't even know where to begin. You, you wouldn't right. know where to begin to fight it. That's right. Because it was before the foundation before. of the world. Mm -hmm. And you can't go back that far. No. That's right. All right, finish up, Brother Paul. Back in Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 17. Listen. And take the helmet of salvation. All right, now. Mm -hmm. You need head protection. Yes. <laughs> I'm not apologizing for holding you too long because before <laughs> you go out to war, you better get this stuff on. That's right. Be before you go out. Huh? That's right. You don't need jumping and shouting and running and won't be for long, six months later, you don't bachelor it. Or you don't join your friend's church. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. All that jumping and All shaking, that, that don't prove you're stable or sound. No. I don't mean nothing. No. Listen. And take the helmet of salvation. You got to have head protection. Yeah. See, when you got helmet, when I was younger, I played football. Mm -hmm. And I played wide receiver. And sometime running back. Mm -hmm. And there was one fella I grew up with. He might be watching now. Zachary <laughs> Smith. Mm -hmm. Zach once in a while stopped at Frankfurt Avenue. Mm -hmm. We literally grew up together from kindergarten. Amen. We're the same age. And Zach, you talking about a running back? <laughs> I remember one day I think he had a red helmet or a white one. But if he had a red one, the one he went head on with had a white one. 
and it sound like a collision. <laughs> Zach was a running back, and when the quarterback handed him that ball, Zach ran around and came down the side, and that fellow was coming head on, and Zach wasn't moving. <laughs> and I watched Zach drop his shoulders and kept moving. Them cleats dug into the ground, and them heads collided. Kabam! <laughs> One had a red streak on the white helmet, and the red helmet had a white streak on his helmet. <laughs> but Zach didn't fumble the ball. Amen. You got to have head protection. Helmet of salvation. And it will protect you from having a kernel mind. That's right. So you don't fumble the scriptures. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I right, Martin? Go ahead. Who got a Bible here? Who got a Bible? Give, give me your Bible, brother. <laughs> See, we're here with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. yes. They pass it to you. Yeah. And once you get it, mm -hmm. hold it. Hold it. Now, don't handle it deceitfully, deceitfully. and try to run being cute. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Hold it. Hold it. Why? You got to make that go. That's right. And while you're holding, you got to run. No, yeah. you're not that they was running the race. Run how? Run all. Run all, but mm -hmm. one received the prize. So now, run. while you're running, here come the enemy. Yeah. Defense. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. And sometimes the enemy ain't coming aggressively either. You're running with that ball? That's true. Here comes the enemy. That's right. And you just running. Yes. All that shaking. All that shaking. Enemy car. Go ahead, man. You know, in playing football, <laughs> in playing football, what somebody would do when they want to tackle you mm. is strip you. Yeah. Strip the ball out your hand. Yeah. And when that thing fumble, everybody knows the value of the ball. That's right. So they risk their own body. Yeah. Jumping on the ball. Amen. The devil know the value of the word. Yes, sir. That's right. He knows. The devil know. He knows. The value of God's word. That's right. You better hold it. Hold it. The devil don't care how you take you down. Mm -mm. One method in football that they'll hit you, they'll face mask you. Yeah. Grab you by your cage. That's right. Bring you down. Mm -hmm. Gotta protect that word. Oh, yeah. Helmet of salvation. Helmet of salvation. Discipline your thoughts. That's and right. when you get the word in it. I, have you ever seen folk get hit so hard in the football field? Knock the helmet off? Yeah. Notice what the helmet is called. And take the helmet of salvation. The word salvation means deliverance. Right. That lets you know the word delivers the way we think. Mm. It delivers us from the thoughts that get us in trouble. That's right. Wonderful. Wonderful. So oh, our yeah. mind, do you hear this? And our mind need to be protected. Right. So what good godly thoughts we have, right. it stay there. Stay there. We keep it in mind. That's it. Be quick. And take the helmet of salvation and, and the sword of the spirit. What is that? Which is the word of God. You got to have the word. Got to have the word. You want all this stuff to work right? Faith keep it moving. Above all. What else we got? Praying always. What? Praying always. Amen. You fake you, you you people that come and get on your knees just to go to sleep. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You got some of you don't hardly pray at all. Prayer going on you somewhere on a phone, texting and texting, tweeting and all that folly. Praying always. How often? Always. That's right. That's right. Nothing ain't wrong with your knees. Get on them. Get on them. No, I can not how much your clothes cost. Get on them. Amen. When you die, you're going to leave them behind anyway. Yes, you will. 
All them name brands going to be burnt up in hell. Amen. All of them. And the one that made them. That's right. What did he say? I, praying always. How often? Always. Some people complain about a one hour prayer. Right. Why we got to pray for one hour? Why not? That's right. One hour. And these are people with the Holy Ghost that with think foolish Ghost. like that. Mm. They got the Holy Ghost and then got lazy. That's why they unfit to pray with anybody yeah. who's seeking the Holy Ghost. That's right. Unfit to pray with them. That's right. You unfit. Unfit. When it come to eat, you'll be one. When it come to go to a restaurant, one. One. Pray? Uh-uh. That's true. That's true. Can't even hardly get someone to pray with you. It's hard to even find a brother or sister to ask, would you pray with me? Pray with you. Oh, look, I, 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 maybe one day. Maybe one day. That's right. Oh, this is of a necessity. And the Holy Ghost know what is needful. That's right. Listen. Praying always with all prayer and supplication mm -hmm. in the spirit. In what? In the spirit. In the spirit. And watching thereunto. That don't mean praying looking at everybody else. No, that's right. That's right. Clear that up. Don't mean that. That's right. Watching what? what? And watching thereunto with all perseverance mm -hmm. and supplication for all what saints. What do you mean you're watching? You're observing. The thing you observe more than anything is yourself. That's right. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Thank you. Be back tomorrow. All the members of my promotion team, remember, we'll be on Frankfurt Avenue for our 11 o'clock meeting. Service begins 6 o'clock on tomorrow. So come in here, hit your knees, cry out to God, cry out to God. Now remember, because I know many of you don't know, and some be going to so many of my secretaries, whenever there's a convention, it doesn't matter what that convention is, the secretary that's responsible for taking the names of all of those who want to meet with us is Sister Kia. She's the one that's head of the hospitality committee. And usually her and some of the members of her committee is out there in the lobby whenever we got a convention welcoming guests in here. So whenever you want to meet with us, please don't go to a bunch of other people because your name may not ever get to me. Go to Sister Kia and God willing, I'll try to get to you. When I can. All right, be back tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Let us all stand. Anybody here want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and get your sins washed away like the Bible says? Raise your hand. Anyone? That's one. Anyone else? All right, you that got your hand up, go over there where those brothers are, please. You that got your hand up, go over there where those brothers are. Oh, he's already gone. Todd's the baptizer. He's already gone. All right, we're going to ask Pastor Taylor to close us out in prayer. Most Heavenly Father, we thank you for this service tonight. We thank you for your word. Lord Jesus, the most important thing that we need in, t in order to have eternal life. We thank you for our pastor. We thank you how he, he labels in the word and the doctrine. Lord Jesus, he give us, oh Lord, he point us, hallelujah, to the way of salvation. We ask that you continue to bless him. And Lord, help us to be not just hearers of your word. Help us to be doers of your word. And Lord, let us take it seriously in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, because we know we're living in the end times. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. We want to endure to the end. Hallelujah, we want to be strong in you, oh God, that we can go through anything. Hallelujah and stand and not compromise we thank you tonight lord bless us as we leave here tonight keep us oh god in your care and your protection these are all blessings we ask in the precious name of the lord jesus amen and amen